Welcome to Explore Van World. I'm Ryan Schaefer, and today we are here in Warsaw, Indiana, at the corporate world headquarters of Explore Van Manufacturing. Explore Van Company started in 1980 by Bob and Steve Kessler. Today, Explore Vans is the leading manufacturer of luxury conversions built by Mercedes Benz, Ford, GMC, and Chevrolet. What we'd like to do today is give you a behind the scenes uh, tour of the true manufacturing process at Explore Van and the key to their success. So let's go on inside and get this factory tour started. Okay, now we are in the uh, Explore's fiberglass division. And this is where we actually manufacture all of our sport roofs and Vista cruisers that go on our seven passenger and nine passenger uh, uh, vans. Um, as you will see, uh, this is a reverse a reverse flange raised roof top. The advantage of the raise, uh, the reverse flange is that, that that actually fits perfectly on top of the factory roof when we cut that ceiling out. Um, actually in crash test rollover ratings, uh, our raised roof actually has higher ratings than the factory low roof does. The other advantage of the raised roof van uh, is that that gives you 12 inches more headroom inside the van and it also gives you uh, a larger TV. We put a 29 inch TV, flat screen LED TV in all of our raised roof vans. This is just one of the other processes that Explorer Van uses uh, to uh, eliminate any suppliers and manufacture everything in-house. We have total control over the quality, the fit, and the finish. Now we're here at Explorer's Strip Out Division. This is where the, the raw cargo van comes into the production line. Um, as you can see, we start, with, start out with a very Spartan chassis. There's no furniture in it, no floors, no wall, no ceiling. Uh, just a raw cargo van from Ford, General Motors, or Mercedes-Benz. This particular van has actually had the roof cut out of it because it's going to get our Vista Cruiser fiberglass top added to it. And no matter where we cut on the roof, we do not cut out the General Motors reinforcement beams for safety reasons. As you can also see, this is the new GM side curtain airbags that go from front to rear um, for safety reasons. As you can see here, we have removed the front grill, factory grill from the uh, GM van. We've taken, uh, removed the, uh, the side mirrors and the cowling. What we do with that, we take those pieces off that are black plastic, we send them over to our paint factory, and we color code those to match the uh, color of the, the, the GM van. This station also represents here where, we're, where he's installing the AMP Research Power Electric boards. Those are very high with the, uh, with the van that sits up a little higher. Uh, those, those drop down to where you get, get in and, and out of the van very easily. Now we're at the Explore Van Seat Frame Division. As you can see, we manufacture the frame to the seat as well as the entire furniture in the van. Um, but this particular uh, division is where we make this, bend the metal and make that seat frame. This also has our new integrated seat belts that will be right into the shoulder harness of the seat. This is one, another example of how Explorer has eliminated almost every supplier that they can and have self-control over the total quality of their product. That benefits us on the back side as well. When you have, if you ever have a warranty issue, we can take care of the parts and the warranty problem within a, few, a week or so. Um, we don't have to rely on outside vendors to uh, stay in business and rely on them to give us our parts. With that being said, all of our seats uh, are crash tested and pull tested. Um, all of our, our, our seats meet or exceed federal regulations. They're all five star crash tested for safety and uh, for your family. Now we're at the Explore 4x4 LAN. This is one of the newest options that Explore has been adding to the GMC and Chevrolet full-size vans. One thing to keep in mind with the, with the GMC and Chevrolet vans, they're, they're all built on three-quarter ton chassis. They're heavy duty, long wheelbase, wide wheelbase, a lot of equal weight distribution there. So our rear wheel drive GMC and Chevrolet vans with the Stabilitrack Track option handle really well the snow and the elements and that. Um, but we have a lot of customers that have been driving SUVs with a four-wheel drive for a long time. And also, uh, General Motors offered an all-wheel drive chassis from 2003 to 2014. But when they discontinued that, that kind of forced us into uh, 
off, de designing and engineering this with General Motors parts um, to satisfy some of our SUV customers that live maybe in some rural areas and that kind of thing um, that just want that peace of mind a few times a year that need that 4x4 system. So this is actually uh, over 90% of this uh, 4x4 system is all uh, GM OEM parts. Um, full warranty under, uh, on that 4x4. We install it right here. Um, take care of it at your local uh, Explorer van authorized dealer as far as the service and warranty goes. Um, and one thing, there's some other 4x4 systems in the, on the market. Um, the one advantage to this is it's a very easy to use, friendly, uh, electronic, electronic transfer knob right on the dash. So you have your uh, four high, four low, uh, two high, right on the dash, shift on the fly. Um, and it's called 4x4 Select by Explorer Vans. Now we're in the Explore wiring division. As you can see, all the different gauge wiring, different lengths um, that will be ran for all the vans we build. One thing about Explore van, every van is built with the same wiring harness. That, that way, if you have a, a van that you had ordered but you didn't want all the uh, bells and whistles uh, and down the road you decided you would want those heated seats or uh, uh, power sofa bed in your van, the wiring harness is already there. So we don't have to tear uh, walls apart and rewiring. It's already there. Um, positive negative ends so we can tap right into that and, and, and add that for you. Um, another thing you'll notice with the uh, with the Explorer wiring, we use a thicker gauge than a lot of the uh, automotive uh, companies do. A lot of the uh, automobiles manufactured on the road today uh, use a thinner gauge wiring. Um, we use the thicker gauge so we don't have to uh, worry about any kind of draws uh, uh, that would uh, blow fuses and circuits like that. This is just another example of how Explorer truly manufactures everything in-house, all the way down to the wiring harnesses and the walls, uh, the furniture and the plastics. Um, so from here, let's head over to the uh, seat factory and, and see how our furniture is made. Now we're at Explorer Vans Furniture Department. Explorer makes the entire, all the furniture in, in Explorer Vans manufactured right here in Warsaw, Indiana. As you can see, this is our two-ton press. We've got one of our leather hides here. It rolls into the two-ton press and stamps each piece precisely. So there's no variation when we go to put the seats together or door panels. There's this one hide here, makes one captain's chair and one sofa bench. 32 pieces she's taken off here. So as you can see, this is what we're left with, a precise cut. We maximize all the leather hide. Um, the leftover scrap, what we'll do with that, we use some of that to uh, make some of our door kits and stuff like that. Very important that uh, the, the type of leather that we use. We use Elmo leather. Elmo leather is a, uh, is a top grain leather out of Europe. And the reason we use a European leather hide, because they have stone fences over there versus barbed wire in the United States. So there's less imperfections of getting uh, barbed wire to the, to the hides and it, uh, and the top grain leather also breathes a lot better. So it doesn't get as hot in the summer, it doesn't get as cold in the winter, it breathes really nicely. Very easy to uh, clean up any spills with uh, mild soap and water as well. So from here, let's go over and see how the seats are actually assembled to, and completely finished. Now we're in the sewing stations of our furniture factory. Um, so as you can see, they're taking, they take all the pieces that were cut in that two ton press and they sew the seat cushion, seat bottoms, and seat backs together. This just happens to be our antelope with steer hide combination here. Um, so we, we can, this is another example how Explorer has total control over the quality of their furniture. Uh, eliminate the middleman costs. Provide better parts and service to our customers and to our dealers. Um, and the biggest factor is that we can keep our costs down. So when you compare Explorer van uh, cost factor to, to the SUVs that are on the market today, um, a, a loaded Explorer van for your family save you fifteen to twenty thousand dollars versus what's on the uh, in the market for a large SUV. Um, so from here, let's go on over to the uh, the final assembly of the uh, the furniture.
Now we have the completed furniture, captain's chair. Uh, this is a graphite with black inserts. We've got probably 10 different combinations of seat colors. There's no extra charge for the seat color. You can pick a solid black, solid graphite, a light gray, a light tan, a dark tan. We can also do the two-tone like this, this exact uh, captain's chair is as well. One other fa uh, key factor to the Explorer, we can design the seat in the molds exactly the way they want. So our seats are a little bit longer, a little wider, a lot of lower lumbar support here in the lower back. A lot uh, more quality there than you'll see in some of your uh, other SUVs on the market. Now we're in the Explorer's Cloth Shade Factory. This is where we put, make, manufacture all the shades for the windows and the door windows. This is great to keep uh, privacy and for uh, keeping the sunlight out. Another example of how Explorer eliminates all the middleman and manufactures everything in-house. This is the Explorer's wood shop. This is called the hydro dipping process. So basically we take off all those GM OEM par plastic parts and we dip it to look the, like the wood the color you would like. We have five different wood colors. We've got burl, black burl, we've got Denali, walnut, and Escalade wood trims. And it actually is a more finished polyurethane finish to it. Um, it protects from the sunlight, from cracking, fading, and it, it, uh, the longevity of it looks a long lasts a long time. And as you can see, this has the polyurethane uh, eight dip wood on it. The polyurethane protects the, the wood from fading and drying out. It makes the, the wood last a lot longer. As you can see here, here's a factory dash f finally finished with the uh, hydro dipped uh, ink. This is actually called the Escalade wood trim. And then you can see we, we spray it with a polyurethane finish so that bakes right onto the hydro dip piece. This this will protect it from the sunlight and from cracking and fading. As you can also see it gets the, precisely all around the edges and everything so it looks factory automotive. Real nice finish for you. Now we're at Explorer's Plastics Division. This is where we manufacture backboard mold, all of our walls, center consoles, door kits, anything in the plastic throughout the van, we backboard mold it. We use a backboard mold because that allows us to make a precise wall every, on every single van we make. So there's no imperfections of uh, different wall gaps and all that kind of stuff. Another good example of how we control total quality of the van. Now we're here in the final production line uh, on the Explorer vans. As you can see, the silver material is what we call our Dynamat sound ending. Um, the Dynamat's an aluminum foil uh, material that has a tar substance and it sticks right to the floor and then we put it in all the doors. That helps deaden the road noise and the wind noise from the side. It also um, keeps the, uh, acts as a thermal barrier. Keeps the hot air or cold air in or out. You can also see this is where we rent our wiring harnesses. So everything is prepped here um, to move on down to the next station. So let's head down that way. This is the station that we put in the carpet. We use a one full piece, a very high dense carpeting, 40 ounce carpeting. That also uh, acts as a noise barrier on top of the Dynamat sound ending as well. So you can see them installing, trim up the, the, the step wells on the doorways there. They also got the pedal still being prepped there for the uh, furniture install. So let's move on down to the next station. This is the Metris by Mercedes-Benz. This is a great alternative to those minivan customers that are outgrowing that uh, minivan. This is classified as a mid-size van. Doors on both sides, power electric, sliding doors. Um, gets great fuel economy. We add the raised roof to this. It still fits in your standard foot, uh, garage and car washes. So let's move on down here to the next station. All right, now at this station, you can see that we add the R11 factor insulation, uh, fiberglass insulation on top of the Dynamat sound ending. This, re this provides a uh, noise barrier and a thermal barrier. I'm 
us to the end of the production line here. This is where the body side molding is going on. As you can see, it's perfectly lined up. Gives it a sleek, gives the van a sleek design and look. Also, the body molding uh, is a benefit to uh, car dings and stuff. So it gives you a little protection there from the side. If you don't go with the uh, body side molding, you can do the fade paint that looks nice too to give the van a two-tone look. Here we are in the final finished van. Um, High top X29 with the 29-inch uh, LED TV. We also put Blu-ray DVD players in all of our vans. So with your hotspot, you can stream Netflix and cable television, all that good stuff. You can actually even hook up an Apple TV and stream hundreds of, of apps. Um, video game hookups here with a 110 power inverter. Wireless headphones, so if the, if your parent, if the parents don't want to listen to the kids' movie, just hit the switch right here, turn off the TV speakers, and listen with the wireless headphones. We have swivel seats here in the middle. Quick release as well. Spin these around, face the back. Kids can kick, kick each other, play games, all that good stuff. We can also put tables in if you desire. Factory navigation in almost all of our vans nowadays. Backup camera, backup sensors, all standard equipment. Um, blind spot indicators on all the 18 vans now. This is the end result, a burgundy with dark cherry fade Chevrolet extended nine passenger. If you'd like more information on our vans, please check out my website, explorevanworld.com. You can also contact me at 312-515-5139 or text me. You can also email me at sales at explorevanworld.com. Also like our social media pages on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. We hope you enjoyed the tour. Have a great day.